Hey everybody, it's the Capital Balloon Studios vlog. We are here in Greensboro, North Carolina. And there's the sister from the previous video. And here's the little balloon jaws. See the balloon jaws with the barrel? I forgot to say, this is the vlog that happens with balloons. And we are here on a momentous occasion in Greensboro at the Brassfield Cinema. Not like the best cinema in the world, but it's not too bad because they are showing Cinemark. Jaws. On the big screen. On the big screen. It's the 40th anniversary, and although we are four days shy of actually making the 40th legit anniversary, it's still close enough, so it's still going to count. I want you to join me, but I cannot record inside the theater, so... When I stop this video, you have to go and watch Jaws right now and then come back and watch the rest of the video. See you later. Hey everybody, so we just uh, yesterday saw the 40th anniversary. I kind of had to process it a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've seen this movie a hundred times before last night, but this was my first time seeing it in theaters and it was a lot of fun. It was, it was just so just uh, amazing to sit there in a theater with other people who enjoy this movie. There were a few people that were talking before the movie started and I heard a few people say they'd never seen the movie. I uh, went with a friend of mine who uh, confessed to me on the way up to the theater that he's never seen the movie in its entirety. He's seen sections and that sort of thing. So it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I could almost quote this movie. I'm pretty sure I could. Um, I've got the poster. I've got a set of autographs from the uh, lead three uh, male roles. Um, I've got every version <laughs> that this movie has come out on since the 25th anniversary. Uh, when that came out, I, uh, I bought it, I think it was like 12 or 13. I saved up my money for a long time because it was a two-set VHS, um, thing, and it was the 25th anniversary. The first VHS was the movie, and then the second VHS, uh, had the special feature. So this movie really means a lot to me. It has, uh, impacted my life in more ways than I can imagine. I've even done a psychology paper on it when I was in college um, on this movie. And one of the things I pointed out in the paper that I don't think a lot of people notice, or maybe they don't, I, I don't know, but um, Roy Scheider's character as, you know, Chief Brody, oh my gosh, he just does an amazing job. You know, when I was growing up and I got into this movie, my favorite character was Quint, just because of his, you know, ruggedness and being the fisherman and everything. But as I got older, I... Uh, I really appreciate um, the uh, character of Chief Brody in the movie. In the scene where um, Alex Kittner gets killed, the little boy on the raft, uh, if you notice, whenever he gets, you know, killed and all the parents are rushing into the water to, you know, save their kids and bring them out, Chief Brody stops at the edge of the water. He stops at the edge of the water and he's like, get out of there, come on, get out of there. But he doesn't go in the water after his own kid. His wife does, but he doesn't because of his fear of the water. And I think that's so awesome. Something that I noticed for the first time um, uh, while I was watching it on the big screen was um, uh, Mayor Vaughn's character. If you watch throughout the movie, he has a little cigarette in his hand. Uh, and I noticed it especially when they were talking in the, in the scene with the billboard and it had been repainted, it had been vandalized. If you look real closely, he's not holding a real cigarette. And I looked it up whenever I uh, got home the next day. Uh, they, they were fake cigarettes that were used to help people to quit smoking um, back in the 70s. Uh, it wasn't like the electronic cigarettes we have today. It was just a fake looking cigarette to kind of get the, uh, I guess, you know, to mentally trick you out of smoking. Um, and throughout the film, we never see him smoke, but he's got that fake cigarette. 
But then after the last uh, beach attack scene, when they're in the hospital and he's talking to um, uh, Chief Brody, and Chief Brody's trying to get him to sign, you know, the document to hire Quint to kill the shark, he's smoking a real cigarette. And I thought oh, that was awesome, because I'm like, throughout the film, he's deliberately trying to quit, but then after that last shark attack on the beach, and his kids were in danger being, you know, on the beach too, and in the water, he's smoking a real cigarette. I thought that was awesome. Little things like that that you pick up every time you watch a movie, and it's not just Jaws, it could be another movie, you know, that you enjoy. Just go and support those films. Um, you know, I, like I said, I have two copies of Jaws on Blu-ray. One of them isn't even open, because... I feel that we have to support good movies because that tells, you know, um, that tells Hollywood and movie makers what we like to see. And, you know, they put out so much, you know, garbage nowadays and CGI stuff, but, uh, you know, Jaws is just so impactful because it shows that if you have the effort, if you have the ambition to pull something off, you can do it. Um, because, you know, I, if you're a big a fan of the movie as I am, you know about all of the problems they had with the shark, the filming locations, uh, putting up with the town. I remember hearing a story where they were building the, the, the uh, Quint's boathouse, and they wanted to build it, and the town was like, okay, well, you can build it. We'll give you the permits to do that. Um, but then after filming's done, you have to take out the boathouse, and you actually have to put everything back on the property the way it was, including the garbage, including the litter and stuff that was out there. So everything they had to go through to make this film, and they just pulled it off. It's it's an amazing film. If you've never seen it, please, please see it. Uh, it is, it's an amazing piece of history. Um, so I had my little balloon shark for the, uh, for the, for the um, I was going to say premiere, but <laughs> about 40 years too late for the uh, theatrical screening of Jaws. Little shark, and he's got a little um, barrel in it. If you've seen the movie, you know what that is referenced for. And so I wanted to give a quick shout out to my good friend, Martin Lemaire, who, a uh, French Canadian, who has a YouTube uh, tutorial on how to make this shark. It's the three balloon shark. He does not do the barrel. That was just something I added. But um, I will put a link to his video in the description below. So if you want to learn how to make it, you can go and visit his uh, YouTube page, and he'll show you how to make it. It's a really cute shark. I love the uh, I love the mouth with all the teeth. I think that's really cute. And um, there's actually another video he has where he does a little bit of different structure with the eyes. So the eyes are more towards the sides instead of looking straight. But uh, but I thought this one was cuter. But that's just my personal preference. So big shout out to Martin and uh, and his awesome three balloon shark. Really cool. Uh, so, you know, tell me, what's your favorite scene in Jaws? What is something that you've picked up on that you've never noticed? And have you ever seen it in the theaters? And what, how, you know, how was your experience? Because for me, it was amazing. I actually had to just kind of take a day to process it because it was such a fun time. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, you know, there were, you know, there were times when I was sitting in the theater and I was watching the screen and I was just like, gosh, it's like, I would have loved to have been there for the first showing, you know, in 1975, you know, when, uh, you know, when the jump, when the shark jumps out of the water, uh, at, uh, at Quint or when it pops its head up and Brody's throwing the chum, you know, off the end of the boat. Those, those, I'm not going to call them jump scares because that's just like a bad word in today's, <laughs> in today's films. Um, but that's kind of what they are. I mean, they make you jump, they give you a little fright. And there were actually times in the movie, in the theater, I was sitting there thinking, gosh, you know, I kind of wish I had um, not watched this movie as much because I know exactly what's going to happen. I know when it's going to happen. I know the dialogue and the music that leads up to everything. Um, but it was still a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it. So if you get the chance, go and see it in theaters. Um, TM, uh, T, let's see, Turner Classic Movies, they do um, different events all over the U.S., so if there's another favorite movie of yours, um, uh, let's see, they've done Casablanca, they've done The Maltese Falcon, Jaws, E.T., a lot of other classic films. Go to their website, check it out. I'm sure they have a list of uh, movies that are going to be coming up in the future that you can check out in the actual theater. So, uh, what was your favorite scene? Is there anything you've noticed uh, in the movie 
that um, that you pick up on and you just think is really cool? Because I'd love to know. I love discussing this movie. I could go on for hours with you guys, but I know you don't want to don't want to do that right now. So, anyways. Uh, if you get a chance, please subscribe if you like the video, and um, if you'd like to check out our other page on YouTube, it's Capital Balloon Studios. No vlog on the end of that one, and uh, on that page, uh, we talk about many different things, sometimes top ten lists, uh, just actually pretty random stuff, but at the end of each video, I'll show you how to make a balloon animal or balloon creation, so if you're interested in that, go check it out. Um, please visit our website, CapitalBalloonStudios.com. If you want to connect with me, CapitalBalloonStudios at Yahoo.com. Uh, so I had a great time. I want to thank my friends Jason and my sister uh, January for going with me. Jason was the one that contacted me. and He was like, hey man, they're playing it. Let's go see it. And I was like, yeah! So thank you very much for including me. I had a lot of fun. And until next time, take care guys.